Good afternoon, everyone. The Municipal Socialist Alliance surprised many by garnering over 14,870 votes across Ontario in October. This was despite almost zero coverage in the commercial mass media, and it was amid a very low voter turnout, which in Toronto was about 29%. MSA candidates ran for city council, school board, and in one city for the office of mayor. Three of our candidates came second in their race for public office. My name is Barry Weisletter, I'm one of the organizers with the MSA. Today, I am proud to present the Municipal Socialist Alliance Shadow Council. Our shadow councillors pledge to hold elected politicians accountable and to fight for socialist policies needed to make this city just and habitable for all. Clearly, there's much work ahead of us. What are the material conditions that continue to torment the working class, the impoverished, and the oppressed? Urban infrastructure is disintegrating. City services are strained to the breaking point. Transportation is congested and given to gridlock. Pollution chokes the air. Catastrophic climate change is here. There is a severe shortage of accessible and affordable housing, resulting in deaths on the street, even as habitable spaces are vacant. A huge backlog of urgently needed repairs in schools and social housing remain. While cops who are extravagantly funded are inclined to harass, harm, and kill visible minorities and the mentally ill. Toronto has a billion dollar revenue shortfall. Mayor John Tory predicts service cuts. He begs the provincial and federal governments to come to the rescue, but he refuses to significantly increase taxes on owners of multiple properties, on giant landlords, major banks, huge retail chains, on land speculators, big polluters, and his friends at Rogers Communications. Tory is moving in the opposite direction. He is burying the principle of majority rule. Ontario Premier Doug Ford introduced Bill 39 to make strong mayors in, in Toronto and Ottawa even stronger. If a bylaw is deemed to advance a provincial priority, the local head of council can impose the bylaw if more than one third of councillors vote for it. What do you think of that? Shame! Shame! Shame. Shame. Now this is different. This, this, is, this, this is different than the mayoral veto previously passed. It amounts to a dictatorship of the 33%. Recall that Doug, Doug Ford cut down the council of, of, of the city of Toronto by 50%. Bill 39, backed by John Tory, in fact he asked for it, will speed up development at the expense of green space, local democracy, health and safety, and it will further enrich the already obscenely rich. Shame. Shame. Shame to that indeed. Now I'm delighted to introduce to you our shadow councillors. Uh, most of them were um, candidates of the Municipal Socialist Alliance in the October 24th uh, election. So first I'm going to go to uh, Kiri Vatavelu from Ward 21. Kiri? Thank you. So here we are advocating for the needs of the people and there they are advocating for the needs of the few. So I, myself, Kiri, I ran for uh, Ward 21 in Scarborough, and nearly 10% of the people voted in favor of, uh, voted in support of uh, Municipal Socialist Alliance policies. And our policies are clear. It's a solution, not a temporary, temporary bandage to make the friends rich and get uh, greedy, uh, greedy politicians get more greedy. So what we need to do right now is to hold these elected ones accountable. Of course, we were we were defeated at, uh, defeated at the ballot box because of the over overfunding and and uh, and uh, 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 overwhelming uh, media media coverage. But we were not covered in the media. But guess what? We were we, we reached the people and people supported us, and that's why we are here. Our work continues. Just because the election is over, doesn't mean our work is done. Our work actually begins now, yes. and we are going to reach to the people. Here, and here. that's the change we are here. Here, here, here. Thank you. Woo. Okay. <coughs> and so now, it's my pleasure to introduce uh, Wally Abro, who is our candidate in Toronto Danforth, Ward 14, and who uh, did very well in the election. Wally. Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. The illusion of democracy is crumbling before us. The voter turnout of 29% in the previous municipal elections and of 45% in the provincial elections preceding that is testament to that. Because people have lost faith in their institutions. And that's because it is not responsive to their needs. And it stifles any threat, any competition that it might face. It does this in the form of ensuring that big corporations can donate tens of thousands of dollars to provincial campaigns, and thousands of dollars in municipal campaigns, and they get a rebate of up to 75, 50% on that. And they say that that's accessibility 
fighting for the poor, but it's not because people who support programs that the Municipal Socialist Alliance champions cannot afford that upfront, let alone some rebate. It is the rebate program in itself is a theft of public resources, and it helps them get elected over and over. They have fifty thousand dollars as a budget to continuously campaign. And the rig first past the post system further disenfranchises us. That's why we need a complete system change. We cannot keep doing the same thing and hoping that we'll get better results. Here, here. This, here, this is where we are. And people are struggling under record inflation. People are, are homeless and, and taking a toll on their health, physical and mental, despite there being more than enough vacant units for them to be housed in. We need to come together and build a cooperative society and enough ravaging the planet, enough ravaging our communities in order to make the rich richer and the poor incapable of climbing the so-called social ladder. That's right. Here. Yes. Let's hear it for Wally Abro, the MSA candidate in Ward 14 where he ran uh, second and yeah, well done. So now we're going to hear from our candidate in Ward 7 who ran for uh, Toronto District School Board, uh, Daniel Terre. Comrades, as a candidate for Toronto District School Board, my priority was repealing the Isla uh, IHRA definition of anti-Semitism that silences the voice of Palestinians. The IHRA definition of anti-Semitism equates criticism of the apartheid regime, Israel, with anti-Semitism, and in doing so, silences the voices and narrative and identity of Palestinian students, teachers, and community members. That bill was passed in 2018 and has already been used to silence advocates for racial justice around the world. And it's high time that the TDSB follows in the steps of the York District School Board, which refused to implement this regressive definition. There are alternatives to the IHRA definition of anti-Semitism that do not denounce or obscure or make invisible the Palestinians that are as much a part of this community as every other part. They passed the IHRA in 2018 very silently, and it's time for us to make noise and demand yes, that the Palestinians existing in Toronto, around the world, have a voice and that they're able to continue their struggle for freedom. Free, free Palestine! Free, free, free Palestine. Palestine. Palestine lives. Thank you, Daniel. And of course, uh, we also are struggling to make sure that the schools get repaired because they're, they're, they're in a terrible state uh, and that endangers uh, the learning environment for, for, for children, for, for teachers, and for uh, Toronto District School Board staff. Next, I want to call on uh, Miguel Avila, who was the MSA candidate in Ward 13, and who is our official police watchdog. <laughs> <laughs> um, thank you, Barry. Thank you. thank you for the introduction. I would like to call myself Police Accountability Official by now. So, my name is Miguel, um, I run for Ward 13, um, proudly for the Municipal Social Alliance, um, and for the, uh, bring to City Hall the indigenous voices that is missing. Um, we talk about truth re in reconciliation, but that is not truth. Because uh, we are not doing systemic, profound changes to our society. A good example is how we can get to defund the Toronto Police by 50%, so that allow us to have more services for the public. We can build more social housing, have people to go to a permanent home instead of going to an incumbent or to a city park. That is shameful. Shameful. Shame. We need also to bring attention to the super mayor powers given by that freaking four to our elected mayor, re-elected two times, John freaking Tory, so we are against it. This is an in second interference of the conservative government in the municipal affairs. First, he cut city council from 44 to 26. Shame. And then, after that, he's not finished. He wants to put provincial interest in the agenda of the Toronto city council. Shame. We know what it means. Build houses, build condos for the rich. We are not going to get what we need, what we want. So that's why we have this shadow council who will keep 
those elected officials accountable and transparent. Thank you very much and help us to defund the police by 50%. Thank you. Muchas gracias, compañero. Would anyone else like to say a word before we sign off? No pressure. Okay. So um, this is just um, a fraction of our of our shadow council, and we're forming the shadow council because we think the elected politicians need to be held accountable, and more than that, we need to advance working class socialist policies that you will not often hear inside the council chamber. In fact, we're outside City Hall today because they told us that not only are banners and flags not allowed inside the building, but even signs like these. So <laughs> this, this, this galloping authoritarianism is symptomatic of a, of, a, of a planetary problem, and that is a lack of power in the hands of working people. We're all about changing that. We're dedicated to monitoring and agitating for real change so that people have decent conditions, housing, can enjoy clean air, uh, more trees, parks where you can actually turn on the water fountain and use the public bathroom, uh, you know, taxation of the rich to make sure that schools get repaired and that um, uh, public housing and other uh, housing is, is, is restored to habitable conditions. That's what the Municipal Social Alliance dedicates itself to accomplishing and with your help, that's exactly what we're gonna do. Thank you. Woo!